welcome everybody so this is just a quick demonstration how we can create uh, a wire using velum that is expanding through the wrist length and a pole that will cut through it and breaking it apart this color is using the th stretch threshold so it's showing how much uh, stress that we are having rendered in redshift so I'll walk you through the file this is the file and we are starting to setting up the velum so this is the setup so here I will start with the background just a crazy backdrop this is a, a digital asset HDA I make it very high let's make it smaller more applicable I convert it and I put a UV wrap for it and I applied a redshift material here I have a couple of cameras and three lights this is the first light this is the second light and a very dim point to dome light here in the font, it's very quick setup, nothing fancy. So I started with double of letter A and B, both extruded, and I output the back. Is right, this one? So I make a little space and I animated the B movement. Then I group the you know I group it in reverse it should be the opposite. So this one should be this one here. select the group more properly so I'm choosing this one yeah, zero should be zero and this one this side so I'm scattering here the same amount 2000 2000 and then referencing it so here I make it uh, 200 and I'm sorting them the same sorting for by y so from a smaller number from here to here adding id for the btnum i didn't use the group here same sort and here i'm merging both letter which are moving and creating lines as you can see Maybe here we can add by reverse PY. PY Okay. Here I'm doing resample so I have more points. Let's make it 0.5 for now. And I'm 
doing this group expression for the end points so I'm selecting both end points neighbor count for this PTNUM that's equal to 1 because other uh, points in the middle they have two neighbors only the end points they have only one neighbor I'm converting it to a line so I have separated line for each and I'm adding the group for all the points and I'm cutting it so if we have exploded view each primitive is separated face it to make unique points also I need a connectivity to have a class per, uh, per primitive and I'm deleting the ID because it will conflict with the villain I'm doing the group here in the villain first one is a string using that group I'm adding 10,000 stiffness and I'm, I don't want it to wiggle so I increase the damping ratio and the stiffness is very low second villain is a glue it's the glue between these lines the group that we made between each one as you can see even between the uh, which one is near to the other one so it's like a hair using the class attribute that we created and giving it the high stiffness then I don't think we uh, yes also I'm wielding between these points and in the glue I make it breakable as a stretch stress at 90 then I'm attaching it to the surface of the letter and here in the villain solver I'm visual visualizing the stretch now we'll talk about uh, running the simulation and altering the parameter I'm running with only two steps. Let's try one step, the default value, and see how it will play out. So, first trial it failed. So, if we increase it to two. <coughs> and it's still failing. So, in the villain glue I'll just disable this one and see maybe we can increase the the resample and give it another one Let's increase it. 
idea here, you just need to keep on trying. So, anyway, this is my solve. rendering this uh, project so after uh, that I added a billion post process and I'm building it as Catman and some special floor then I'm fusing it so the lines will be together just try it without the fuse and I'm giving a color the color I'm using is according to the brick threshold and this is the range I went up with Shift material, and here I make it strand, render object as cylinder, and I merge the remaining parts. So, in the material, I added particle attribute lookup to import the CD from the point, added it to this material. It's fire of the render. So 
one is cool also. Let's have a look again. Thank you very much for watching. 